Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show how to recreate grabbing sun in hand magic trick using Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. I used 3 shots to create this video. A day shot, night shot and a green screen shot. Now let's bring this into After Effects. On the bottom of our timeline we have the day shot, above that night shot and on top of everything we have the green screen shot. First things first we are gonna remove the green screen. Grab the pen tool and draw a mask around the green screen. Next I will start removing the green screen by color key. And then I'm gonna add the key light effect. You have to do this precisely. After that reposition the green screen layer. Next hit M on the keyboard and enable animation for the mask path. Animate the mask to hide all unwanted objects. Now create a new white solid and make a circle mask. Also make sure that you reposition the anchor point in the center of the circle. Enable animation for position and animate the white circle to follow your hand. Once you are done apply fast blur and glow effect to the white solid. Then create a black solid and search for lens flare effect. Apply this effect to the black solid, choose the lens type and set the blending mode to screen. And reduce the brightness. And add fast blur and CC vector blur effect as well. Now right click the flare center and select reveal in timeline. Hold down alt and click the stopwatch icon. Then parent the flare center to the position of the white solid. This will make lens flare follow the white circle. Alright, now let's make the night transition. Go to the point where you are grabbing the sun and animate opacity of the night shot from 0 to 100%. Furthermore, we need to color grade the green screen layer to make it blend with the background. So search for Lumetri color and play around with the settings until it looks accurate. You can also use curves effect. For the night transition enable animation for the curves effect. Go a few frames ahead and just darken everything and reduce the highlights. Also reduce the red channel and increase the blue channel. To top it all off you can add some fake camera movement and color grading. And that's it. If you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.